day, the fact controller came to the station to catch his train. He always walked over to have a word with Thomas the Tank Engine. Hello, Thomas, he said. Remember to be patient. You can never be as strong and fast as Gordon the Big Blue Engine, but you can be a really useful engine. Don't let those crooks tease you. There were lots of trucks at the station. They were silly and noisy. They talked too much and played tricks on engines that they were not used to. Thomas worked very hard, pushing and pulling the trucks into place and getting them ready for the big engines to take on long journeys. There was also a small coach and two strange things that his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day, Thomas was very busy in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine whistling. Help! Help! When he looked towards the line, he saw a goods train from Rocky Three. Much too fast. Thomas could see that it was James. And James was very frightened. He was screaming and whistling. His brake blocks were on fire. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! He panted. Trucks were laughing. They were having lots of fun with James. Poor James went faster and faster. He was still whistling and calling for help as he disappeared down the line. Help! Help! They're pushing me! They're pushing me! I'd like to teach those trucks a lesson, said Thomas. Then came the alarm. James is off the line. Fetch the breakdown train. Quickly, shouted one of the men. Thomas was coupled onto the breakdown train and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. Hurry, 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 he puffed. Bother those trucks and their tricks. I hope poor James isn't hurt, said Thomas as he hurried along. They found James at a bend in the line. He was in a field with a cow looking at him. James's driver and the fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James, they said. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden brakes they gave you. We always said they were no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside James. Then he pulled the unhaired trucks out of the way. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, serves you right, puffed Thomas. He was hard at work, hopping backwards and forwards all afternoon. This will teach you a lesson. This will teach you a lesson, he told the cook. They 
left the broken trucks, and then with two cranes they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't, so Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat controller was waiting anxiously for them. He smiled when he saw Thomas. Well, Thomas, he said, I've heard all about it and I'm very pleased with you. You are a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, he said. And Thomas, you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas, feeling very proud. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. Annie can only take passengers, and Clarabel can take passengers' luggage and a guard. They are both old and need new paint, but Thomas puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. His friends, Edward and Henry, stop quite often to tell him the news. Gordon, the biggest and proudest engine, is always in a hurry, but he never forgets to say, Hoo, hoo, and Thomas always whistles, Peep, peep, in return. <laughs> <laughs>